Hello my lemons and my limes and my tangerines. And today we've got a bunch of bamboo that is technically sort of protecting me from mobs pathfinding when it gets dark. And we've got me using up tons of shovels to get snow from this snowman I have trapped in a stone box. I have spent forever sitting here. I just moved this hopper because I don't want any snowballs going into this double chest because this double chest is filled with it's um it's filled with snow blocks and I don't want it to be filled with snowballs. Now I went and I got these two shulker boxes that I had in the ender chest that were near the the end. Alright now I got both of these completely full and we're going to take these up this scaffolding that I built. It took a lot of gathering string to get to the point where I could have the scaffolding as high as I want it to be. But we've got it up and we're going to build I think at like y equals 1 20 something. Let me check my calculator. 132. We're going up to y equals 132 and we are building a platform up there. Uh, that platform is going to be the area that our base is going to exist. Wait, no, not y 132. Y 193. That, <laughs> I was going to say, this is too close to the clouds. We've got to be above the clouds. We are about half, we're going to be about halfway between the clouds and the top of the world. First things first, we've got to put some snow down. And then we can put our shulker boxes is down and then get more snow. And make our first platform. And try not to do this too much. Uh, this is definitely something to time lapse, so I'm gonna start time lapsing. So it's been a few days since we, oh, there's a gift. Uh, all right, so it's been a few days since we did that time lapse, but let's see what this gift is. From MC and GBM open on camera. Don't forget to, okay, so that's, oh, MC Redman and Green Bird music, okay. And, don't forget to buy from Big Firework and Big Fungus. And Green doesn't want it to be called the Big Firework. Okay. All right. Well, I don't have a, I don't have mending on my elytra yet, so no need for fireworks. But maybe soon. And, and uh, oh, and I found out that uh, creepers can spawn on this, so we're gonna be taking these out. <laughs> but uh, let's see what's in here. 
You are gift. It's the golden hoe again. With the curse of vanishing. Is this the same golden hoe that they gave me before? All right. Our, oh, nice. Turtle eggs. Half broken diamond leggings. Good. That, that's good because I uh, have some diamond leggings on that zombie downstairs that I don't know if I've shown you yet. Diamond boots with mending. Nice. Helmet and, and chest plate. And oh, two ender chests. That is really useful. I really needed an uh, ender chest access. Let's see here. Fortune. Silk touch. Good. That is definitely useful. Kritzer. Uh, ci oh, Citrizer. Huh. Well, uh, thank you guys. He's red and green for that, uh, for that gift. If it it definitely looks like it's gonna come in handy, especially since I've got no armor on right now. Actually, I should put that armor on. Let's let's get that. There we go. All right, thanks guys. All right, so what I need to do here is I'm gonna I'm gonna build a building. Now, now uh, over the weekend, I built this little thing out. Oh, oh, this wasn't on the time lapse. Built this little thing out to um, to think about building a old style Minecraft village building. But then I looked at it and it was so ugly that I, I don't know what I'm gonna uh, build, but I gotta build a little house for the villager that we have down below. Oh, and get him up here. He's still a zombie, so oh, I just gotta be careful for him. And, and uh, yeah, we're gonna try to get it, the zombie villager up here before we cure him. Or maybe after, I don't know yet, depends. But yeah, let's we'll figure that out. All right, so I've got revived grain here. He's here to help me yeah, get the villager that I mentioned a few minutes ago who uh, healed and alive again. And and I'm going to show him how to use scaffolding. So, oh, uh, scaffolding works different if you're on Java or on Bedrock. Okay, and if you if you click on the side of the scaffolding it'll build upwards. If you click on the top of the, on a like horizontal surface of the scaffolding, it'll build outward. And then if you shift click, it'll build however you want. For right. a certain amount of, for a certain amount of bits of scaffold, of course. And yeah, so yeah, like six or seven. Can't take it anymore. All right, so I'll finish fixing that later, and then, and if you come over here, we'll get to where the where I've got the zombie villager held up. All right, Doctor Grain, it's got the medicine. And we just go swim down here, and there's a door in the gravel. And he's down a couple floors here. Here in the stronghold. Yeah. Locked locked him up tight in the stronghold with my dog guarding. <laughs> and there he is. Right, there with my away. bed. If I were to die, he'd be killing me over and over. Right then. Okay. Right, there's I need a... to get potions at the ready. Are you ready? Yep. He's... Go ahead. <laughs> Oh. All right. Medicine has been given. 
and then and then uh, then I can get my stuff off of him and and then I can take him up to the clouds uh, it's once I uh, get some soul soil elevator going he's pretty well equipped but I also got I also actually got to get him a, him a place up there so he doesn't walk off the side of it for any <laughs> reason <laughs> <laughs> so this is where the stronghold is I yeah that one that goes down to a dead end that i turned into a mine and then over here i got skeleton grinder and so you so you can uh, go also. in the door or stay out here and and um now i got a campfire under them so they're not one hit but if i took that campfire out they'd be one hit okay yeah yeah, I found a spider. I've got a spider spawner near my base. That's uh, so I'm pretty. I'm pretty well off for for uh, string and. And if you come you, down here, you I've can see so it. Many, it's why I've got so many potions. I've got absolute loads of fermented spider eyes. So ah, I've got a view in there. Yeah, now in this area. is so close to the bedrock that, and I had to be a little creative with how I got them into a single stream. And because see how they, they they haven't dropped down very far yeah or it's because some of the blocks that they're standing on right and right at that level are actually bedrock so I can't see. go down any further <laughs> well, it's, uh, but it it's seems to handy. work it seems to work so I don't think I need to redesign anything on it and then I got I got tons of arrows and bows there's and stuff down here Creeper spawned down in there when I didn't think to light it up when I uh, was first AFKing. And I took out some of the pillars. And just lit up this, I lit up, I think, the entire, or, um, the entire stronghold. And, and I still have the, I still have the, what do you call it, the, the silverfish spawner. Or I didn't break that. I might be able to do something with those, but I, I don't know, I might delete it. And then, and yeah, uh, this, I've, I've this... never actually, I've never actually done anything useful with with them. I'd be interested. Well, to I'm know just if... thinking, like, because I got the, I've got the skeleton spawner there, and then this room is a slime chunk, and then I got the silverfish spawner. Like, what if I put all three? What if I just funnel them all into the end for some reason, and sometime in the future? <laughs> mm. or because yeah. if you come no, up you've, here, you've we got can everything that you need. <laughs> To just terrorize line. someone. <laughs> <laughs> then I think it's this way. And maybe over this cave. Yeah, here we are. Yeah, we got this here. So, so I, oh, there's a silverfish. But yeah, um... I haven't activated it yet because I want to bomb this area out. Alright. <laughs> right. Escapes. Yeah, I want to get this area bombed out and turn it into a <laughs> whirlpool that funnels into the end. Yeah. Which I think is going to be right. impossibly difficult for me because I don't know how flying machines work. <laughs> All right, so we're pretty close to the surface here. So if we come up here, there's there's water leak that we can swim up out of. Would you be able to spare a few Whoa! books? What? Any books to spare at all while I'm here? Um. So I can get so I can get my enchanting room. Yeah, you can take a bookcase. That would be wonderful. Thank you very much. Right, I think I've just had an advancement. Um, so oh yeah, he's villager. cured. I forgot about. Oh no! Don't come up here. There's trident right, right there. <laughs> <laughs> How um, should we I... go out the uh, the way the way we came in? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. oh, oh, the 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 ladder's right here. Like he's like camping that exit. I play a lot of bedrock. 
Um, I, I certainly did last year, and the, tr the, the, the Trident zombies are nowhere near as lethal as they are in Java. They're absolutely lethal in this version of the game. Right, where are we going? Uh, over the over the mound, and then through here, and then through the iron door. Alright, and then there's, and then here's the main hall and stuff. So I'm gonna grab my stuff. That oh, he he took my bed. He he dropped my stuff <laughs> and took my bed. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was just he's resting in it all. Day. He's, <laughs> yeah. he's, he's had a rough day, so um, fair enough. <laughs> right. That was so fun. <laughs> all right. Anyway. Anyway, I'm going to head back and uh, thank you uh, for the tour. You've certainly got a, a very comprehensive setup here. Yeah, the, the thing that I don't have planned out well is my sky. Mm. i got to figure that out. I'm going to work out what it looks like, the shape. Alright. Ah! <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a long break before I do that dash across the nether again, I think. Last time. Oh, he didn't drop it. So we're here in the nether and we need to get down to the regular nether in order to, you know, make some progress and like getting nether resources is and I really don't want to go all the way back to spawn which is like super far that way where this arrow is pointing and this one I'm standing in the middle of, <laughs> of and um, so we are going to try teleporting in different spots and see if this works at all. Oh, come on, there's gotta be a spot. There we go! All right, we we made it down. That, that, uh, that, um, that must be a thin spot right there. And let's see around us. Oh, we got a, we got a, um, oh, what do you call these? Uh, a bastion. And, we got nether wastes and oh uh, what's that called again um oh what's it called it's called a this guy is too distracted to hurt me uh, it's it's um oh darn it what is it called there's a ghast in there oh yeah there ah huh. No, he's got flame aspect. Okay. Okay. We just got to build a portal down here and then we can go back home. <gasps> I forgot the flint and steel. Oh no! And it looks like somebody's been here. Possibly. Oh no, that's not good. That might mean that I don't get any good loot from living near this. Oh man. Okay, I gotta go find some flint and steel. Oh, there you are. All right, so I got Greenberg music here, saving us from being trapped. If you could just light this portal for me and tell me um, if this was you that already raided this. It's just look right here and you'll probably be able to tell. Wait. Um, just look right here. I didn't realize I was supposed to bring a um, air charge. Don't worry. 
I can get the stuff for one real quick. I have some oh. of stuff. Do you have a flint uh, and a steel? Our charges can be made in the nether. I just need a blaze powder and a coal. So I'll have to go to a nearby fortress, grab a blaze powder and a coal, and be right back. Okay. Um, I don't found see another you. bash and I haven't looted. Close by. Did you say you were back? I found another bash and we'll head back. I'm almost back. I just have to fly through this salt delta. Small distance, right? Yeah, um... I'll have to go around the basalt delta, because there's a wall in the way. Either in like a minute or two, longest. I am, I'm back now. Um, Where are you at? I, there you I'm are. flying in. You went under. Um, I, you're right under where I'm at. Okay, um, there's, a, there's one of those nether walls in the way, um. I seen you and you went under underground. Uh, went I went under by like, ground. I, I went down and set up. There I you see are. I did. All right. Can you go ahead and just like that? I up? have the stuff. Make blaze powder and then a um fire charge. You know, I didn't know that fire charges were craftable. Oh wait. Yeah, they require blaze powder. Never and mind. Powder and a floor. Never mind because that I don't. I just never craft them because. <laughs> And, um, you never need them. Yeah. It's important and then, and then I forgot. I forgot that they were craftable because there's one of the loot. Oh, you're being shot at. Aimed at. I'll take care of him. Uh, um. Yeah, because they're one of the trades. I kind of yeah. just forgot that they were not a drop. And I, and I was thinking the magma cream, which might be, might be craftable. All right. Let's see Second where this takes me to. Slime balls. All right, it gave me a new portal, and I'm underground. And I don't recognize the area. I. I don't know if I'm home. I blame you. It's probably like a hundred, probably like two hundred blocks away from your base, based on where it is. Oh, gas! Yeah, I do not feel like dying to you right now. All right. Um, I'm gonna check on my camera account and see if I'm close to my home. I think I'm far away from it, or maybe a little bit. Uh. Okay, so I'm recording on my camera account now, and let's let's take a look at my location. So the negative three or positive three seven one five, negative three two two two, and then if we teleport, or if we uh, jump to where I am, we are we're not too far off. Okay, if I go up here, I recognize... Oh, there it is. Okay. We're, we're just a li we're just a few hundred hit blocks away. That's kind of... Um, eh, mm -hmm. but okay, that works. Thanks, uh... Oh, yeah, that was the closest spot it could find a dry cave. All right, so all I had to do was break a single block and and um, have the rest land on torches of uh, this gravel that was on the wall, and we are free to go up to the surface. Nice. And I if you go to the and it I should be, I think to the east. And a lot of redstone. All right, no, it's to the north. So we're a bit to the south. Oh, I don't have a boat, but I have I have wood. Okay, so we are back at base. I've grabbed my diamond pickaxe, and we're going to come down here to the dead end little mine. And, and we're going to put a portal right in here. Now, I don't have enough 
obsidian right now to make it be like into the wall here you know, like like I, if I put obsidian there I'm just not gonna have enough if, if I had one more or um, I'd have enough but I don't so we're just gonna you know, load this up right here and guess what I forgot again you're right I forgot the flint and steel like I did it when I was in the nether so let me see if I have one in down here and I don't but I do have gravel and I do have steel all right I've got the flint and steel here's the portal let's check it good we're at the right spot a cow has made its way in that's uh, actually a bad sign Ooh, that could have been bad too get in there get in there get 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 in there there we go and we are we should not have put the cow through here so I did some math and it looks like this portal is in a bad spot it's always going to put us in the ocean and or under a cave in a cave under the ocean in a mile away from our base so we're going to take this out and we're going to use this portal instead whoops I forgot my gold get in here <laughs> and now we're where we're supposed to be thank goodness now now we don't have access to the nether roof so I'm going to go back in there gather that obsidian up and uh Oh, thank goodness. I'm going to go in there, gather that obsidian up because I only have seven now, and I'm going to build a, another portal up there. So that should take us to the nether ceiling again. Got a portal up here. Let's hope this works because I did not, I didn't have the chance to write down the cords. Thank goodness it works. Let's make sure it goes back to where we expect it to go back. And it goes down here. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Uh... Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> but um, all right. So anyway, that's long enough of messing with nether portals on camera. Uh, uh, next episode, we're going to go into the nether and look for lots and lots of quartz because we need quartz for two types of builds. We need it for the stuff that I want to build up there is going to look best if I get some quartz. And a few episodes ago, I promised a comment library. So we need to get that to be built too. And I said that we're going to make that out of quartz. So going to need lots of it. Uh, hopefully I don't have to build a gold farm because I don't want to build a gold farm. All right, uh, crater.